Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and I am so excited to show you some new products today. Um, all of the products I'm using today are from the new annual catalog. It comes out May 3rd, 2022. And this week I'm doing some sneak peeks over on my blog. And I just had to show you this really cute Sending Smile stamp set along with this uh, black and white paper. The black and white paper is called Perfectly Penciled and it's a whole pack of just black and white prints, which you know, hello, my favorite. Uh, I think everybody loves a good pack of just black and white prints. Yeah, one side is more like with the black as the background and then the other sides have the white background. Really, really useful um, and really awesome. All right. The bundle I'm using is called Sending Smiles. Um, it's a great bundle. It's got lots of different ways to make your sentiment. Um, you can stamp the word sending or you can die cut it like we're going to do for this card. And then you can add in the sentiments that, you know, whatever fits your occasion. So sending love and big hugs or sending birthday wishes, sending comfort and strength. I just really like how it's really versatile. Um, you've got the dies that cut out, obviously, the images and then these two long skinny label dies, which I always appreciate a good label die. All right, I have got a big piece of basic white cardstock. We're gonna use um, Polish Pink, Daffodil Delight, our new, one of our new in colors, Parakeet Party, and Early Espresso for those flower centers. You're gonna need three of the stems, so I'm gonna stamp two, uh, one of them twice. All right, so Parakeet Party is a nice, vibrant, bright green. So you need three all together. And then we're gonna stamp the flowers. These look like daisies. Oh, I don't know, I'm probably saying the wrong kind of flower. Black-eyed Susans maybe. Um, one thing that I'm gonna show you is to put this um, center right here. I found that if I stamped it first and then cut it out, my stamp stamping location wasn't in the right place. So I'm gonna die cut it and then we'll know exactly where to put that center. You'll see in just a second. All right, and then we're gonna stamp our sentiment in polish pink. Right there. All right, now let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. And we've got dies for all of these. Let's see, we can line them up. And we have a new magnetic plate in our uh, new catalog that will be coming out. I don't have it yet, um, but it will be perfect for sets like this because you want them perfectly lined up. You wanna look at the top and the bottom. See how this has some holes there? That can kind of help you see where that, um, that little skinny stem is. All right, there's our flower, flower one and flower two. All right, and then I'm gonna take this up here and cut this one out. All right, very carefully lay your plate down and run it through. All right, now that I have all of my pieces cut out, we're gonna cut out our sending uh, word as well. I've got an adhesive sheet here and I'm going to put down my pink, my polished pink piece of cardstock on here and that is going to turn this piece into a sticker. It's going to make it so much easier to uh, adhere to that base. It's very narrow and if you're like me, I don't have a um, a really very steady hand with the liquid glue. So this is gonna help me do a much better job and not make a mess with my glue. All right, so we're gonna put the skinny sending on polished pink and then the outline um, in basic black. Now we don't need to put the adhesive on the back of the black because it's white enough and we're gonna use dimensionals. All right, so this uh, die is pretty delicate. These letters are pretty delicate, so you wanna make sure not to just rip it out of your cardstock or it will tear. Um, use your take your pick tool 
to get all the little pieces. Be very careful with it. She's very delicate. All right, and then we've got that, the little outline. I really love these three colors together. I think they're fantastic. All right, let's put let's put this on here. You want to find the back of the adhesive, peel it off again very carefully um, so that you don't rip your word. There we go. And then it gets kind of out of shape. So I want, I just kind of start here and I center each letter as I go, pushing it down, making sure it's centered right there on that, that shadow. All right, for the dot, for the eye, mine always stays stuck in here. It's tiny, 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 very tiny. And if you can, you can do some surgery and just get your, take your pick tool. Mine just kind of pulled that backing off both times I've used it and then just sit it there. If you have trouble, you could always leave the adhesive backing on it and just stick it down with a very tiny dot of glue. All right, we're gonna cut this, both of these pieces on a diagonal like this. And I wanna make a mark up here about an inch and a fourth. Okay, so I'm gonna use my pencil to make a mark there. And then down here, about three and a half. And you can do this at the same time. Now take that top pencil mark and stick it there where it's gonna get cut and then swing this around. Hopefully you guys can see, swing this around so that this tick mark is also in the gutter. So you're gonna cut right there, okay? Now it doesn't have to be exactly like that if your measurements are a little off, it's fine. You just wanna cut a diagonal. All right, so now I have two sets that I could make a card from, all right? So uh, when you cut that paper, those two pieces, um, you actually have supplies to make two different cards. All right, I've got a, a basic black mat here that is five and a fourth by four, and I'm gonna take the top piece and put it across there. And the bottom piece, I'm using Stampin' Seal Adhesive. And I'm gonna put that right there. Now, ahead of time, I use my basic border dies to create a, a, a Rick Rack piece from Basic Black. Um, I love this die, and I love that we can use it to make a cute little Rick Rack. So I'm gonna put some liquid adhesive, and I'm gonna just lay that down right there. I'm gonna give it a second to kind of set and while I do that, we're gonna bring these pieces back over and I'm gonna show you about stamping those centers. So when you have this, this flower center, I just found that I didn't know how high or low to do it when I stamped it before I die cut it, but when I die cut, I can see exactly where I need to stamp it. So I saved that one you could go ahead and stamp ahead of time before you cut if you'd like. But those two I wanted to do after I cut them out so I could see exactly where, how, how high or how low that center needed to be. All right, I think we can snip this off. It's a little bit of glue there, gotta be careful. All right. So now I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna flip them over, and I'm gonna put a stem on each one like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a dimensional. I'm gonna adhere that stem to that flower like that. Kind of that dimensional is doing double duty. All right, and then I'm gonna grab some mini dimensionals and put those down here in the thicker parts of the, of the flower. And then I'm gonna start layering them up. I'm gonna take this bigger one and it's gonna be higher than the others. So I'm gonna put that there. And then this one's gonna kind of go like that. And 
and this one's going to go like that. All right, now back to this piece. Um, we're going to use many dimensionals here as well. See how it's much more solid than, than the pink piece. So adhesive is not a problem. All right, and we'll put that right across there. And then we'll take this little guy again with the dimensionals. And put that right. I kind of like to tuck that bottom part in like that. You know, let's tuck that one in too. Let's see what that looks like. If we go a little bit further down and we tuck that in like that, there you go. Sending a card to say hello. Now, all you need to do is put it on your card base. I am going to use dimensionals and then we are done. Now, remember these products will become available on May 3rd and they will be available for a year. I, uh, I think that this paper and the Sending Smiles bundle are going to be very, very popular. All right, click the link here on YouTube, go over to my blog, grab those um, dimensions, the supply list, and um, get close-up pictures. I hope you'll join me for more sneak peeks this week. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.